Today is a warning struck PSA video on the fact that some manufacturers are choosing to ship new BL Heli 32 based ESCs with a factory pre-release version because they're no longer able to legitimately license a public version of BL Heli 32. Now in this video I'm going to explain to you what the situation is as we understand it. I'm going to give you a demo of it. I'm going to show you the issues because it doesn't work with the public configurator. I am going to show you how to get it working though with a configurator and then at the end I'm going to explain to you why this is all a horrible and terrible idea it should not happen we should not accept it as part of me sharing with you my thoughts so let's get on with it and let's find out what exactly is going on now, just to give you a brief history of what happened, about a month and a bit ago, BL Heli 32 ceased trading. They were no longer allowing new licenses of BL Heli 32 to be made. That means that manufacturers could no longer legitimately make ESCs with BL Heli 32 installed. All pre-produced ESCs up until that point were fine, but manufacturers could no longer produce ESCs from that point in time which means existing supply out there would be fine but what you should have started to see was a dwindling down of BL Heli 32 ESC stock and manufacturers then have to switch over to the likes of AM32. Unfortunately though that doesn't quite seem to have been what's happened. A couple of weeks ago I was sent an ESC to review from Secure that is this ESC here that did come pre-installed with BL Heli 32 but it was not as I expected. It wouldn't connect to the official configurator. When I plugged it in, it was giving me a warning telling me that this had prototype pre-release software installed, version 31.10, and it would not be able to be upgraded. I reached out to Secure and asked them what was going on, and the response I got was, no, you need to use our configurator on our website. This is where things get even murkier because that configurator is a test version never designed for public use. It is a test version that they would use at the factory and what seems to be happening is they are shipping ESCs with this 31.10 test build installed. Now, up until a few days ago, it only seemed to be the case that it was secure doing this and I have had some contact back and forth and I had been told that they were going to stop doing it moving forward. It now seems though they are not alone and I am seeing reports on my Discord server of Darwin FPV and even Fox Ear shipping ESCs that also appear to have this test version of BL Heli 32 pre-installed. Okay, now just to demonstrate this, we have the ESC from Secure here with their flight controller. I do have a review of their flight controller coming. It's actually very good. The ESC hardware is very good as well. It's just a shame about the software. But anyway, we're going to connect it to the current public version of BL Heli 32 configurator. So here we've got the public version of BL Heli 32 configurator, 32.10. If we just click connect, we'll wait for the ESC to read in and then we will read in the setup and then this will give us the error. If we just allow this to go through and what you will now see is it will pop up with a warning and tell us that the ESC is running a test version of firmware. So the exact message is this that you see here, multiple ESC configurations. It gives us the version number and it says pre-release rev 31.x prototype sample BL Heli 32 bootloader N. When you click past it, it basically says, sorry, ESC one seems to be XXX pre-release firmware, prototype sample, it is not possible to upgrade the ESC to release version. When you click OK, you have no option of being able to use the public BL Heli 32 configurator. It does not work. It will not let you save. You are literally stuck with regards to using it with this version. Now, Secure told me to go and download the version from their website. That is what you're seeing here. Within it, you get two folders. You have a 32.10 folder. This is the public version, as far as I can tell. Does not work with ESC, just like you saw on the original one. And then this test activator suite, which you can see here, does open up, but this doesn't connect either. Now, there is actually a way of getting this to work. You have to move some files around between the two configurators. However, this is just not how it should be. It is not acceptable and manufacturers are shipping a test version that should never have entered the public domain. 
Now, whilst I don't recommend, support or endorse the use of illegitimate firmware, I am going to show you how to get this working. My stance is, and I'll talk about this more at the end, is that you should send these ESCs back. But if you are stranded, I am just going to show you how you can get the configurator working. Now, in the download, you'll have two versions, as I said, 32.10, which will just give you the error messages that is test firmware. And then you have the test activator version, 31.10.01. Now, this out the box doesn't work either. When you try to use it, you'll select your COM port, click connect, and it will just sit here trying to connect to the ESC. It just will not connect. It won't work, and it will just cycle like this forever. Now, to get this working, what you need to do, first of all, is make sure that you have hidden files enabled on your PC. I've already done it in this folder. So if we go into properties, you can see I've got hidden tick there. That's why that box looks a little bit different. If we now go into settings and you will need to have ran the test configurator once for this file to show. If you go in here and it's not showing, go into this, run this once, and then the file will show. But if you go into this, and you're going to need to make an edit. Now, I recommend you do this on something like Notepad++. If you don't know what Notepad++ is, it's a text editor, but it allows you to save in multiple file types, and it won't affect the main file itself. So what I'm going to do is just grab this and drag it into here. And what we need to do is make a change on this option here under Interface, and it says Interface type 13 we need to change this to interface type 14 and then i'm simply going to click save if we now close this file and if we just check it again by dragging it back in you can see that it has got now that 14 version and then if we go back to bl heli 32 test activator open this up you need to make sure you have your com port set correctly your board rate connected at 115 200 and then click connect. As you can then see, it has connected properly. If I then click read setup, it will then read in the setup for the ESC. It will work and look exactly the same as BL Heli Configurator has in the past. You can see that it shows the version is 31.10.1. We don't know, is this 32.10 just with a 31 number? We have no idea. All we know is that this is the test version that we have and then you will be able to do all the usual configuration. Now, this isn't actually the first time we've seen these test versions. This has crept out now and again in the past, mostly by accident. And there have been reports that when that's happened, the users have been limited to a certain number of arming cycles or a certain number of flights. Now, I have been doing some tests on the bench. I've got to about 15, 20 bench test arms so far, and I haven't had any issues. I'm just using a very quick bench test rig for this. I've done about 10 power cycles and probably 20 or 30 arming cycles. If I just do it now, you can see it's working absolutely fine. It arms multiple times. There's nothing I found so far that cuts it off. What is still, though, a complete unknown is what the situation with this firmware actually is. So the situation stands today is we have a number of manufacturers that appear to be shipping ESCs based on BL Heli 32 with test firmware that was never designed for public consumption. It is labeled 31.10. We don't know if that means it's 32.10, just a test version. We don't know what bugs it has. We don't know if it works properly. All we know is that they appear to be shipping ESCs with what I believe is illegitimately licensed firmware. I do not support this. And whilst I have shown you how to get past the issues around the configurator, that is only for the people who are stuck. I personally recommend if you have bought an ESC with this on, send it back. Do not accept this as a behavior that we will tolerate. Manufacturers should not be shipping illegitimate software on the ESCs. BL Heli 32 is closed source. It is not open source. This isn't a fork. This is their IP, and it doesn't help anyone in the long term to have versions like this roaming around. The future now is about moving forward, AM32 and any other software that comes up. I will not support or endorse any manufacturer shipping illegitimate software to make money. It is just not the right thing to do. And as I've said, we don't know anything about this software. We're going to have to understand it if people use it. We're going to have to hope that there's nothing particularly dangerous in there. 
I'm interested to see if it does have the fixes for the arming issues that people said they had for racing. But again, it's not the way forward. My advice is send it back. Now, what to do if you were looking to buy a BL Heli 32 ESC today? Well, remember what I said at the start, there's no more in production other than what they seem to be doing here. So I would be very careful of ordering directly from a manufacturer because I find it hard to believe they will have stock of these ESCs left. What's already in the retail supply chain, there is a very real possibility there is legitimately licensed older stock out there. But buy from somewhere you can send it back. Don't be buying from AliExpress. I don't recommend you order from a manufacturer direct for a BL Heli 32. Go to somewhere that you can walk in or send it back and say, look, this isn't right. I want an ESC with a legitimate software or I'm going to buy AM32. I do know there is going to be a subset of users out there that if this turns out to be a test factory only version of 32.10, would actually be very happy with this situation. There are people who really do want BL Heli 32 for a number of reasons. Racers, the guys who need the arm in fix, and a number of other guys, 3D Heli, 3D guys, sorry, um, and guys and gals, I should say, because there's a gal involved in 3D uh, flight as well. And, hey Zo, hope you're well. Um, and whilst this may look like, oh my God, we've got a way forward, again, Supporting Ill illegitimate software is not the answer. Supporting AM32 and other open source projects is. So, that's where we're at today. I hope you have found this interesting. If you have, please do let me know what you think in the comment section. Any questions, put it down below as well. I just, I just, I just want to say... If you have found this video useful, please do consider checking out the links to my Patreon as well as buying me a coffee. It's only through the support of my patrons I'm able to keep making content on this channel. If you'd like to support us, please do consider checking it out. I do want to say a thank you to Secure for sending this stuff over, although you need to sort this ESC firmware out. Stay safe. I will speak to you soon.